Hello everyone, it's Michelle Lupton here for another video for Case Me A Christmas Card 2024. Today I am casing my wonderful friend Lydia Fiedler and the video that I'm casing of hers, she was demonstrating the blackout technique and she used a few different um, just uh, embossing folders to do this technique. So I decided to do the same. So I have chosen three Christmassy uh, embossing folders here, and I'm starting off with some Nina Solar White um, cardstock in the 110 pound weight, and I've used my um, Spellbinder sprayer to spray them down with a little bit of water. So that sort of softens up the fibres in the cardstock so that when you run it through your die cutting machine with your embossing folders, um, it takes the texture a little bit better you get much more crisp results anyway here is one of the cards that Lydia made in her video you can see how gorgeous this card is she's got some beautiful color in the background and that blackout technique just makes all of those colors pop right out of the card so the embossing folders that I'm using are from Spellbinders um, and that one is called Holly and Foliage. I have an Alter New one which is called Perfect Poinsettias and I have one from Simon Says Stamp which is called Holiday Greenery. And I'm starting off with some ink from uh, Hero Arts. So here I've got the Pale Tomato um, ink colour. And I'm using some uh, smaller ink blending brushes to um, get into the little holly berries on one of them. But now on this um, poinsettia, I'm just covering the, covering the whole lot um, with this um, red colour. Now, it looks a little bit blotchy at this stage, but don't worry. It'll look a whole lot better um, once I've got a bit more ink on and once I've um, completed the technique. So you can see with these little berries, it's useful to actually get one of the little blending brushes. This particular one is from Hero Arts and that helps me get right into those berries. Now I've switched over to Butter Bar Ink from Hero Arts and I'm just going in on the tips of the um, poinsettias um, and also into the... Um, very centre of the poinsettias to add some sort of yellowy orange. And then I decided I wanted a little bit of purple in the sort of deep part of the poinsettias. So I've got some amethyst uh, Hero Hughes ink from Hero Arts to do that. Now I'm moving on to the foliage of the other two embossing power, uh, folders. So I've got uh, Kiwi ink from Hero Arts and I'm covering a fair amount of the background um, on both of these um, panels with the Kiwi ink. Um, once I've finished with the Kiwi ink, I'm going for a slightly darker ink. This is Fresh Lawn um, from Hero Arts and just choosing some different um, types of uh, leaves. You can see in both of these embossing folders, there's different types of leaves. So I tried to sort of keep the similar leaves, a similar color on each of them. So now I'm going in with the slightly darker green on the holly leaves um, on this particular um, embossing folder, trying to make sure that I go in with the um, blending brush in multiple directions. So going around in circles and going backwards sometimes so I can get right into those nooks and crannies um, of all the texture. Now, of course, the very important thing, which I haven't already mentioned, which I really should have mentioned, is I'm actually doing this on the debossed side of the cardstock. So all of these images that you're seeing are being pushed into the cardstock. Um, and that's really important when we come to the blackout part of this technique. All right, I decided I wanted a little bit of blue-green, so I've pulled out Aegean um, ink from Hero Arts to sort of fill in a few of those extra leaves um, on these um, panels. And um, then I decided that I'd go a little bit darker, so I pulled out pine just for a few of the teeny tiny little pine leaves here on this embossing folder. 
So you can see I've got a bit of a variety in colors there. So here are my three panels. Now here comes the magic. You just take a black ink pad and I'm using intensified ink from Hero Arts and I'm just rubbing straight onto that panel and you can see that because I've put the color into the debossed part of the image, the black ink only goes on the bit that hasn't been debossed that's sort of sitting up on these images. So what you get is a really crisp outline of the images um, and black all in the background. Well, it appears to be the background, but it's actually technically the foreground um, of these. But you can see that different embossing folders give you different results. This particular one from Altenew, there's less black because there's less raised area, whereas this one from Simon Says Stamp, there was a lot more raised area, so there's a lot more black. So I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you so much to Lydia for giving me the idea and for being my guest today, and I hope you see you again next time. Bye.